We're all hoping that the coronavirus pandemic will soon come to an end. But do you know what won't be coming to an end in 2021? Us wrecking the Quran. To all of my Muslim friends who are watching, if you thought 2020 was a bad year for the Quran, that was just an appetizer. That was just some chips and salsa. Wait till we bring out the chimichangas. Now, just as there are many different Qurans, there are many different Muslim beliefs about the preservation of the Quran. So, before we get started dismantling the dawah in 2021, I have a little challenge for our Muslim friends. Two simple questions. First, when you say that the Quran has been perfectly preserved, what do you mean? Tell us exactly what you mean. Second, what evidence can you give us to show us that your claim is true? So, what do you mean when you say that the Quran has been perfectly preserved? And what's your evidence for your claim? Simple questions, right? One is a request for clarification. The other is a request for evidence. There are reasons I'm asking you these particular questions before we get started wreaking havoc on your book. As for what you mean when you say that the Quran has been perfectly preserved, the meaning just keeps changing. For years, when Muslims claimed that the Quran has been perfectly preserved, they meant that every copy of the Quran from the time of Muhammad has been completely identical. That lie was exposed when Muslims started learning that there are textual variants in different Quran manuscripts and that there are different Qurans in different parts of the world. So, Muslims ran to their scholars, and their scholars said, yes, there are differences, but it's just because of different accents. Then that lie was exposed when Muslims found out that the words have completely different meanings. So they ran back to their scholars, and their scholars said, okay, so it's not just accents, but these different versions complement one another, and they all go back to Muhammad. That's the most recent claim, and it's really, really easy to refute. But not all Muslims have adopted the latest claim. So I want you, the Muslim community, to tell us exactly what you mean when you say that the Quran has been perfectly preserved. Now, as for the question about evidence, I'm asking that because every Muslim I meet tells me that the Quran has been perfectly preserved, and yet he can't provide a single shred of evidence to support this claim. A little Gentle questioning always, always, always reveals that the Muslim himself has never been given any evidence to support this claim. Instead, he's just been told all his life that the Quran has been perfectly preserved, and he believed what his leaders told him without ever bothering to do the slightest bit of research. What happens when we do a little research? We find that According to Muslim sources, entire chapters of the Quran were lost because Muhammad's companions were too lazy to recite them. Hundreds of verses were lost from other chapters because the only Muslims who had them memorized died in battle or the only copy was eaten by a sheep. Muhammad's top reciters of the Quran couldn't even agree on which chapters were supposed to be in the Quran. Ibn Masud said that there are supposed to be 111 chapters in the Quran. Ubay ibn Kab said that there are supposed to be 116 chapters in the Quran. The Quran today has 114 chapters. Uthman, the third of the rightly guided caliphs, had to burn piles of Qurans to cover up all the differences. And even now, different manuscripts of the Quran are filled with differences, and Muslims in different parts of the world use different Qurans. What are Muslims still saying in the comments section? Perfect preservation, right down to the letter. It's a miracle. There's a lot to unpack this year. But again, before we get started, tell us exactly what you mean by perfect preservation. And tell us what evidence you have to support this view. You can answer those two easy questions in the comments section. Just keep in mind that if you say anything other than the perfect preservation of the Quran is a myth used by liars to deceive the gullible, your words can and will be used against you 
to expose your religion. Talk to you soon. That the standard narrative, that the standard narrative, Boy. that the standard narrative, you'll finish as holes. Finish as holes.